Assalamu alaikum this is inside by aksa and today we will learn about micro rna as as cancer biomarker successful and effective treatment of cancer is totally dependent on timely and accurate diagnosis for this purpose several proteins were being used as biomarkers but their detection involved in invasive techniques and their diagnostic application and results were not satisfactory this difficulty is seen to be overcome due to discovery of micro rnas so what are micro rnas micro rna are basically short endogenous rnas that are non coding but functional molecules and consist of approximately 22 nucleotides micro rna were first discovered in 1993 as regulatory molecules these micro rna are transcribed by rna polymerase 2 into primary molecules of micro rna that have characteristic hairpin structure like regular messenger rna molecules These micro RNA molecules are highly tissue specific and are expressed in tissue specific manner. These micro RNA molecules in are involved in gene expression and control different cellular processes. Until now several micro RNA molecules and genes have been discovered in human genome that are involved in regulation of gene expression dur- during different states. Being non-coding molecules, these micro RNA are involved in different important functions. Micro RNA are involved in regulation of gene expression. In our cell, DNA is transcribed into RNA, and RNA is further translated into protein. Here we have micro RNA as regulatory molecule that may bind to messenger RNA or block it or degrade it, and thus it. controls the production of protein in a specific manner micro rna also regulates some different cellular processes including timing of cell di- cell division cell proliferation cell differentiation and cell apoptosis micro rna also regulate oncogenes and oncosuppressor genes and they function to prevent cancer micro rna biogenesis involves two processes The microRNA production can occur through two pathways one is canonical pathway and other is mitochondrial pathway In canonical pathway microRNAs are transcribed by RNA polymerase 2 into primary microRNA molecules which have characteristic hairpin structures Now RNA's 3 drosha protein present in nucleus make uh, primary microRNA into precursor micro rna that are uh, 70 to 100 base pair molecules these precursor micro rna molecules are transported into cytoplasm by exporton 5 mechanism now in cytoplasm there are two proteins that are rna's 3 dicer protein and trans activating response rna binding protein these two protein convert this precursor molecule of rna into double uh, stranded rna molecule now this double stranded rna molecule have one mature micro rna guide and other passenger strand the other pathway is mitochondrial pathway in which the non coding sequence of messenger rna is supplied by cell splicing machinery into micro uh, micro rna precursor molecule this precursor molecule is transported into cytoplasm and further processed into mature micro rna now our micro rna are ready to target messenger rna targeted sites and they may block or degrade messenger rna to repress translation micro rna can be utilized as biomarker because micro rna have differential expression in healthy and disease states so this differential expression can be utilized as potential biomarker for disease micro rna have following characteristics due to which they can be used as potential biomarker micro rna can be detected at early stage so they can be used for accurate diagnosis of various diseases micro rna have very short sequence so they can be termed as stable analyte sensitive protection of different uh, biomarkers can be done by using different techniques so micro rna can be utilized for sensitive detection um, so we have if we have very little amount of sample we can detect diseases by detecting micro rnas micro rna extraction is very reliable because micro rna are present in our body fluid so we can use 
any non-invasive technique to quickly mm, extract these microRNA from our body fluids so they can be termed as easily detectable biomarkers. So now we will discuss about altered expression of microRNA in cancer. Altered expression of microRNA indicates dysregulation of important biological processes during disease condition. Change in microRNA expression levels can be can affect cell differentiation, cell proliferation, apoptosis, and timing of cell development. It can also affect regulation of different genes related to tolerance and cancer expression. MicroRNA dysregulation can cause cancer by affecting different regulatory processes like it can downregulate tumor suppressor genes or it can upregulate oncogenes. So cancer is highly correlated with altered expression of microRNA. So microRNA profiles can potentially be useful for prediction of cancer. Uh, we can detect cancer at early stage by using microRNA profiles. We can do classification of my tumors either in benign or malignant so by using microRNA profiles. Prognosis of this disease at different stages can be, mm, can be developed by using microRNA profiles. So we will learn about microRNA detection techniques. Uh, be, uh, basically, for the careful di diagnosis of microRNA from very little amount of samples, different techniques are being used in research laboratories. Our main purpose is to develop simple and effective clinical diagnostic assay for cancer diagnostic at early stage. So here are some techniques including southern blotting, real-time PCR, microarray. These techniques are conventional and they use hybridization as their basis. So we will discuss first real-time PCR. So real-time PCR uh, have two steps. One is reverse transcription in which isolated microRNAs are converted into cDNA by reverse transcription in commercial kits. This cDNA is then subjected to real-time PCR for amplica amplification for quantitative analysis of expression level of different microRNAs. So this have advantage that it, it is highly sensitive method for low quantity samples. It has limitation that it is based on hybridization and due to short microRNA molecule it may give non-specific results. We have another method that is neutron blotting method. In this method, the sample containing microRNA is run over electrophoresis gel. Then the radio label oligonucleotide are added for hybridization to occur. In next step, microRNA are transferred to microRNA nitrocellulose membranes. After removal of unhybridized microRNA, the microRNA targets can be detected easily. This technique is highly specific and gives specific results, but this technique is time consuming and large amount of samples is required for detection of biomarkers. We have another technique that is microarray method. In this technique, solid phase oligonucleotides with same sequence as target microRNA are used to detect cDNA. Now the cDNA is labeled with probe. Sample is then loaded into well. The probe hybridizes the cDNA. Then the emission wavelength and intensity of each well is, uh, is calculated, which determine the level of expression of different microRNAs. This technique is very advanced and it can give expression profile of multiple samples at a time. But this technique is very costly and only good for large scale laboratories. We cannot utilize this technique in small scale lab laboratories. So these all methods can be used to detect microRNAs so we can do diagnosis of cancer at early stage. But the standardization of these technique is necessary because without standardization we cannot detect microRNAs effectively into body fluid so we cannot uh, we cannot treat cancer in effective way so uh, we need to discover some standardized and effective techniques for effective evaluation of 
uh, and effective evaluation and diagnosis of cancer.